Hello, dear students. This is your engineering mathematics three lecture. Today we are going to start fifth unit probability and probability distribution. Now the topic probability distribution. We know that frequency distribution gives tabulated values of x and corresponding frequencies. And the probability distribution gives tabulated values of x and the corresponding probabilities. So this is the difference between probability distribution and frequency distribution. In frequency distribution, with the observations means the with the values of x, the corresponding frequencies are given, and in probability distribution, with the observations, that corresponding probabilities are given. So this is the difference between probability distribution and frequency distribution. Now we are going to discuss three types of probability distributions here in this unit. That first one is binomial distribution, binomial probability distribution. See what is binomial probability distribution? The experiment or a trial which has only two outcomes, a success or failure. With p as the probability of success and q as the probability of failure, see the experiment or a trial in which it, which has only two outcomes, either a success or failure, where p is the probability of success and q is the probability of failure. Since uh, there are only two outcomes, so the probability of success means p plus probability of failure means that is q. The addition is equal to one. P plus Q is equal to one, where P is the probability of success, Q is the probability of failure, and the addition is equal to one. Because in binomial distribution there are only two outcomes, either success or failure. Here binomial in binomial uh, distribution, by means two, means it has only two outcomes, either success or failure. So probability of success plus probability of failure is equal to one. Now the probability of r success in n trials is is n c r into p raised to r into q raised to n minus r. See, probability of r success. Sup suppose uh, or consider n number of trials. In n number of trials, suppose r times you are getting success. Then the probability of getting success r times in n number of trials is given by n c r. N c r means combination. N C R into P raised to R into Q raised to N minus R. You know what is P and what is Q. P is probability of success and Q is probability of failure. Okay, this formula gives probability of R is equal to zero, one, two, three up to N. It is success in N trials. So binomial probability distribution is denoted by its notation means the notation of binomial probability distribution is here. B of N P R or you May write here beta, beta NPR. N means number of trials, P means probability of success, and R means number of times you are you are getting success out of n number of trials. Means R the number of successes you are getting out of n number of trials, and the formula is given by beta or B of NPR is equal to NCR into P raised to R into Q raised to N minus R. So this is the formula of binomial distribution, and So you know what is NCR? NCR means it is equal to n factorial upon r factorial into n minus r bracket complete factorial. So this is the uh, formula of NCR. Okay. Now see the example example on binomial distribution. An unbiased coin is thrown ten times. Find the probability of getting exactly six heads, at least six heads. Our aim is here. You find the probability of getting exactly six heads, or at least six heads. Now, an unbiased coin is thrown ten times. Means number of trials n is equal to ten. And here, the probability, standard probability of coin when we toss the coin in air, the standard probability of getting head is obviously one by two because there are only two outcomes. And the probability of getting head out of that uh, two outcomes is one. So 
probability is equal to 1 by 2. The probability of getting success means probability of getting head when the coin is tossing air is equal to 1 by 2. This is the standard probability of tossing the coin in air. Now you know the probability of success means probability of getting head is 1 by 2. So you can find it, uh, find the probability of getting failure means you are not getting head. It is 1 minus P because when we toss the coin in air, there are only two outcomes and the probability of success is 1 by 2. So obviously the probability of failure will be 1 minus probability of success is 1 minus P. And so it is 1 minus 1 by 2 is equal to half. So probability of failure is 1 by 2, probability of success is 1 by 2. Okay. Now our aim is find the probability of getting exactly six heads. And the coin is tossed in air 10 times, means the number of trials n is equal to 10. So the value of n, small n is 10. Now probability of getting exactly six heads is equal to, means the value of success is six, r is equal to six. Because we represent the success by the letter R. Out of 10 times, you are getting 6 times heads. Means the value of R is equal to 6. Now, we want the probability of getting exactly 6 heads. Means P of R is equal to 6. Is equal to. Now, you know the formula for binomial distribution. It is NCR to P raised to R into Q raised to N minus R. Now, you know the value of N. N is 10. C R. R means number of successes. It is equal to 6, exactly 6. So 10 C6 into P. P is probability of success. It is 1 by 2. And again, the value of R to the power 6. Q. Q is again 1 by 2 to the power N minus R. N is 10. R is 6. So 10 minus 6. So it is equal to 10 C6, 1 by 2 raised to 6 into 1 by 2 raised to 4. Now here 1 by 2 base is same because it is a coincident here that the value of P and Q both are equal. So base is same here 1 by 2 raised to 6 into 1 by 2 raised to 4. So we can do the addition of indices 1 by 2 raised to 6 plus 4, 10. So the answer is 10 C6 into 1 by 2 raised to 10. You can calculate this value from the calculator. 10 C6, you know how to calculate 10 C6. This is a formula, NCR is equal to N factorial upon R factorial into N minus R bracket complete factorial. So using, using this formula, you can calculate 10 C6 into 1 by 2 raised to 10. You'll get the probability of getting exactly six heads. Now, second aim uh, in the same example is probability of getting at least six heads. See. We are going to find here the probability of getting at least six heads. So at least means minimum, minimum uh, six times you will get heads. Means maximum you will get 10 times heads because the number of trials is equal to n is equal to 10. You are tossing the coin in air 10 times. So the maximum uh, time you, are, you will get head 10 times. Here we want the probability of getting at least six means you start from six, at least six. Probability of R is equal to six plus. You may uh, you may uh, get seven times head. So you find probability of R is equal to seven. You may, you may get uh, R is equal to eight means eight times head. So probability of R is equal to eight. Probability of R is equal to nine. Probability of R is equal to 10. So maximum 10 times you will get head. So you just add the probability of all from R is equal to six to R is equal to 10 because these all are exclusive events, independent events. So you just find the probabilities of for every R, which R is equal to six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10. And then you add all the terms, okay? So it is equal to 10, R is equal to six. Now you know the formula for binomial distribution. It is NCR into P raised to R into Q raised to N minus R. So here, R is equal to 6. So it is NCR. N means number of trials. It is 10. N is equal to 10. So 10 C6 into 1 by 2 raised to P raised to R means 1 by 2 raised to 6. Into Q raised to R, N minus R means 1 by 2 raised to 4. Plus, now probability of R is equal to 7. P of R is equal to 7 means the... Uh, formula is here, 
10 c7 1 by 2 raised to 7 into 1 by 2 raised to 3. Okay. Similarly, you find the probability of r is equal to 8. It is 10 c8 into 1 by 2 raised to 8, 1 by 2 raised to 2. Then you find the probability of r is equal to 9. The same formula we are using here, ncr into p raised to r into q raised to n minus r. Now the value of r is 9 here. So the result, the formula becomes 10 c9 into 1 by 2 raised to 9 into 1 by 2 raised to 1. Because the value of p is 1 by 2 and the value of q is also 1 by 2. And the value of r is 9. So 1 by 2 raised to 9, 1 by 2 raised to 1. Then you find the probability of r is equal to 10. It is 10 c 10 into p raised to r, 1 by 2 raised to 10, because the value of r is 10 here, and q raised to n minus r, 1 by 2 raised to q uh, raised to n minus r, n is 10. And the value of r is also 10, 10 minus 10, 0. So 1 by 2 raised to 0. So you just simplify all the terms, 10 c here, p and q are same. Therefore, you can add the indices, the powers of that P and Q, because P and Q are same, 1 by 2, 1 by 2. So in first term, 6 plus 4 is 10. Second term, 7 plus 3 is 10. In third term, 8 plus 2 is 10. In fourth, 9 plus 1 is 10. And in last, 10 plus 0. In last term, the 1 by 2, the power of Q is 0, and the power of P is 10. So the addition is again 10. So in every term, the power of 1 by 2 we are getting is 10 because there are n number of terms. And then you find a, a value of 10 c6 into 1 by 2 raised to 10 plus 10 c7 into 1 by 2 raised to 10 and so on. You find the values of every term. You add all the terms. That will be the probability of getting at least 6 things. Um, using calculator, you can find the values of all the terms here. So this is the first example. Now the next example is probability of man age 60 years will live for 70 years is 1 by 10. Find the probability of five men, men selected at random. Two will live for 70 years. Here there is one correction. There is one correction here. Here, the main the spelling is wrong here. Main. main. Five men selected at random. Two will live for seventy years. Okay. Here, the probability of man age 60 years will live for 70 years is equal to P is equal to 1 by 10. Here in this example, that standard probability of a man age 60 years will live for 70 years is given, means the value of P is 1 by 10. In previous example, the standard probability was not given. But we know that when we toss the coin in air, then the probability of getting head is 50% because there are only two outcomes. Either you will get head or tail. So there uh, the probability, standard probability is 1 by 2. It was not given, but we can easily find there the probability of getting head. But here in this example, the standard probability is already given. The probability of man aged 60 years will live for 70 years is 1 by 10. So this is your probability of success. What is our success? The man of 60 years will live for 70 years. That is our success. And the probability of that success is 1 by 10. Now from P, you can find the value of Q, probability of failure. Q is 1 minus P. So P is 1 by 10. So 1 minus 1 by 10 is equal to 9 by 10. So this is the probability of failure. Q is equal to 9 by 10. Okay. Now the question is find the probability of five men selected at random means uh, here the sample is of five men uh, like in previous example there were there was uh, n number of trials the value of n was 10 here the value of n is 5 
here the sample is of five men selected at random so the n is equal to 5 and the probability of five men selected at random two will live for 70 years the two will live for 70 years is here see the probability of r is equal to the probability of five men selected at random two will live for 70 years is equal to uh, the value of r success is 2 because out of five men only two will live for 70 years that is our success r is equal to 2 now the formula of binomial distribution is ncr into p raised to r q raised to n minus r n is 5 here sample of five men are taken so 5 c r is here 2 5 c 2 into p raised to P is here one by ten. P raised to r, r is two. So one by ten raised to r into q raised to n minus r. Q is here n minus ten. So n minus ten to the power n minus r. N is five and r is two. So five minus two is three. So the power of nine by ten is here three and the power of one by ten is here two. Now you solve this. Now calculate this value. Five c two into one by ten raised to two into nine by ten raised to three. Using calculator, you can easily calculate this value. 5c2 combination into 1 by 10 raised to 2 into 9 by 10 raised to 3, and the calculated value is 0.0729. So this is the probability of five men selected at random who will live for 70 years. This is your answer. So using binomial distribution, you can calculate the value easily. So here i discuss binomial distribution with examples so this session is over here thank you thank you